أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم أجمعين ربي جدني علما ربي جدني علما ربي شهري صدري ويسر اليمري وهل لبدة من لساني يقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Welcome my brothers and sisters from around the globe We embark on a session to understand the Quran We all know how to recite Now our endeavor is to understand To begin with what we find in the Holy Quran it says about the language okay now if you see in the holy quran how many times the word arabi has appeared okay just have a look it it has appeared in the holy quran huh? 11 times 11 times in the holy quran it has appeared Arabi. The Quran has been sent, has been sent to us in Arabic language and in Surah Yusuf, what it said, you see, Inna, indeed we, Anzalna, who we have revealed it, we have sent it down, Quran and Arabia. Quran in Arabic language. Why? So that you understand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Quran has been revealed in Arabic language so that we understand. That means amongst all the languages that are available in the world, Arabi is such, Allah is indicating that it is the easiest you will understand. Okay. In Surah Yusuf, it has appeared like this. Now, if we see in Surah, next one, Surah Rad, what Allah says. Hmm. The jurisdiction or judgment or the laws has been given in Arabic language. Why? And if you follow their desire, whatever has come to you from the knowledge, there will be none to save you against Allah. No only protector, no defender. So, Quran has been sent in as Hukman Arabia, here Quran and Arabia. Hmm. If you go to next ayah, you see what is what Allah says. Quran has been revealed. How? Lisanan here. Lisanun Arabiyun Mubir. Eh? Lisanun Arabiyun Mubir. A language in Arabic, which is clear. Language in Arabic, which is clear. In next ayah, we find Okazalika anzalna hu Quran an Arabia. Okay? Quran in Arabic language. Osarrakna fihi, and in it we have explained whatever. In next ayah, we see Bilisan in Arabian Mubin, a language in clear Arabic. Quran has been revealed in a language in clear Arabic. Okay. If we go further down, we listen in Arabi in Mubin, in Surah Juman, it is said Quran and Arabia. Huh? Quran. A Quran in Arabic language, so that why? 
غیر ذی ایواز دیر از نو پروکڈنس ان ایٹ اللہ اللہ از انڈیکیٹنگ دیٹ سنس ایٹ ہیز بین ریویلڈ ان عربک لینگویج سو دیر از نو پروکڈنس یو ول ناٹ فیس ڈفیکلٹیز ان انڈرسٹینڈنگ ان نیکسٹ آیا قرآن عربی لکومی فار دا پیپل یا لمون دو جنو In next ayah also we will find the word Arabiyun, Azamiyun, Arabiyun. And similarly, in Surah, Surah ayah 42, here also you will find Quranan, Arabiyan, and in subsequently in other surahs also you will find this thing let, let me quran and arabian here also quran and arabian and here also lisan and arabian so what i wanted to let you know in 10 different surahs 11 times allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the word arabi giving lot of other details that it is uh, so that you understand so that you can take judgment from here and all this thing that the word Arabi in which the Quran has been revealed is there in it. Now let's see another thing. If here there are four ayah there are four ayah containing same thing same revelation there is no difference you see what is reason ala qad yassarna al qur'ana and certainly we have revealed we have made it easy the quran let zikr for remembrance pahal bin muddakir is there anyone to receive the admonition Now, it would have been enough if Allah would have said once. But why he is telling four times the same thing? Al-Kamar, same, 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 same. Why? There is a message, a strong message that this. What is this message? We have made it easy. So, for you and me, we are in, in the worldly affairs, we know everything. We cannot say that Quran, we don't understand Quran. Or understanding Quran is not for us. Okay? This cannot, we cannot say. We have to make an effort to understand it. Allah has made it easy and Alhamdulillah, you will be happy to know that I have worked for long years, almost you can say 18 years to prepare some paper, which we will follow in our deliberation. I have given you in six pages. I am sure you have received. Am I correct? You have received all? Yes, Ustah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, what, what are the materials we will cover in our courses? We will study the six pages. If you look at the six pages, we have named it Comprehensive Grammar on Quranic Language. Comprehensive Grammar on Quranic Language. This six page contains almost 95% of the essential grammar required for understanding the Quran. These six pages contain more than 95% essential elements of grammar to understand Quran. Okay. How this six page layout of the six pages have been done? 
you can say these six pages are ready recorder. Ready recorder means something will be always with you. You will fall back to the six pages whenever you face difficulties. In ready recorder, the most important, the in ready recorder, you use most important items when at front. So page one is most frequently will need it. Now, each and every word of these six pages, we will make you clear, make you understand. And that is why not necessarily we will study page one in day one, no. We may go anywhere. But since in your personal use, page one you will use more comparing to other pages. So it is first page. You will understand once we go, this page can be expanded into hundreds of pages. Each word, say Nasara, it will have a lot of derivatives. Yansuru, a good number of derivatives. Each and every line, we will have to explain. So when we finish the course, you will be able to refer back these pages. Here you will go back and refer and consult this. These six pages we will consult, we will study basically. And you will need to take a print, keep it with you and go back as and when required. Wherever you are, go back to these six pages, okay? Then we will consult this one, 85% of the Quranic word compiled by uh, one Abdul Rahim. He is a professor in Dammam, uh, University of Petroleum and Chemicals. I, I had the opportunity to meet him when I was in Saudi Arabia, a very learned man from India. We will consult this book. Very good compilation, especially the portion, war portion, as you can see. I have given, shared it into your group. We will have some reference to this book. This book is written by some uh, Darussalam publications by Izzat Uzza. Okay, possibly she is either from Pakistan or India, I'm not sure. We will consult this book also. This all will be there, this will be your personal state, but mainly will remain on six pages, okay? There is another book by, uh, by a Brigadier General from Pakistan Army, Brigadier Jahur Ahmed. We will use this book as reference material for personal study, since it is in English, that is why I have given it to you for your personal study. Okay, and we use this book. If you see, a book of 582 pages. But inshallah, the technique we will follow, let me very clearly tell you, we will do this course based on technique and I call this technique a method of superimposition. If you see this book, we will read this book, we, will, we may take maximum two hours to complete this book. And you will understand, yes, it is possible to study and finish a book of this much in two hours time, okay? And this, these are the uh, um, these are some of the materials that we will consult. And finally, saying the saying of our prophet, you all know, amongst you, he is the best who learns Quran and teaches others. We are in that um, platform. May Allah accept our endeavors. Now, 
let's start begin with the lesson can you hear me loud and clear yes okay do do you face difficulties in my in my deliberation understanding deliberation yes <laughs> you face difficulties or you understand my language we understand your language sir mashallah okay so let us start we begin with the lesson go to the six pages and go to page number 2 first we will start page number 2 here this is our first lesson this table now whatever is there do not worry for this now it is written dhamahirul faili we will not brief this word now but see these are personal pronouns subjective pronoun this two we will clarify okay don't worry for other two now to understand this table whatever inside this much let me tell you a story we will relate to a story so that we understand this say say we have uh we have our relatives correct and among these relatives some are absent away from us some are in front of in front of us and some are we we or i as i am talking now this this is the group of relatives away from us in front of us and we now away from us who all are they they are in english can we say they are third person they are guide not in front of us right am i correct if you kindly respond little bit yes okay. so yes group of among the group of relatives just to give you an example one group away from us so they are guide third person we call it third person third we call them third person now some are in front of us we we can call it second person and yep we i am talking to you we are first person so person three three types of person and we are denoting them with our relatives now come to the third person group this third person group our relatives them can be male male uh, sorry oblique female similarly second person there can be male and female and accordingly first person there can be male and female now among this male say we come go go back among this male there can be one person there can be two person and there can be more so if it is one person we will call it singular if it is two person we will call it dual and if it is more we will call it plural have you got this concept yes now we will see this concept in our sheet what we have written here see 
do not worry for the terminologies now. In Arabic, person is called shaksun. So this is gaib, third person. Gaib, third person, as I have told. Hazir, second person. Mutakallim, first person. So this now, as I have told, in gaib group, you have masculine gender, feminine gender, muad muzakkar, and muannas. Similarly, in Hazir group, Muzakkar, Muannas. And similarly, in Motakalem group, that means first person, you have Muzakkar and Muannas. So this is called Zendar, Zinson. Do not worry to memorize now Shakson and Zinson, but try to remember these three. Gaib, Hadir, Motakalem, Muzakkar, Muannas. Try to just remember these words. This will help us. Okay. Now, as I have told you, that there can be in Muzakkar group, there can be one person, there can be two, and there can be more than two. So if it one person, we will call it singular. Wahidun. Wahid. If it is two, if it is two, we will call it tasniya in Arabic. Dual. Tasniyatun. And if it is more than two, we will call it jamun, jama. Normally, wahid, tasniya, and jama. Try to take this, understand this Arabic terminology. Wahid, tasniya, and jama. Okay. Now see, in Gaib group, in Gaib group, what, what do you find? In Gaib group, if I go like this, see, this is our Gaib group. This has Muzakkar, this has Mohannas. Now, in Muzakkar, you can have one person. So it will be called Hua. Two person Huma and more than two Hum. So here three words we are learning. Hua, Huma, Hum. Correct? Yes. And in one we have here Huma, Hunna. 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 So Hunna. our guide group finishes here. Now, you see Hadir group, second person, we have Muzakkar, Muannas. And similarly, if it is singular, Anta, Tasniya, Antuma, and Jama, Antum. And Muannas, Anti, Woman, Antuma, Antunna. If you have a look in Tasnia, Muzakkar and Muannas, meaning masculine and feminine, same word. So it is more easy to remember. But you no, must. Will we get confused if, if we get Huma? It is male or female? No. From the context. From the details, you will understand. Similarly, in Hadir, Antuma, same. So this is little less number of words, vocabularies we have to remember. Now come to Mutakallim. Here also we have Muzakkar group and Muannas group. But fortunately, here you see in Hazir, Muzakkar, Muannas and for Muzakkar, different word. Muannas, different word. But in Mutakallim, only one word, Ana. This means, Ana, I am a male, I can be a... female. Right? 
and similarly nanu i can be a male i can be a female and nanu can be tasniya nanu can be jama nanu can be dual and nanu up to this the table that i have briefed you is this much this is basically do you have any doubt no you have understood well yes please okay now let me show you one technique remember our whole study will be based on technique before that can you tell me getting yourself unmute with me who are whom are whom he are whom are whom other ones it will be easy for you to remember Please tell me. Who are who ma hum? He are who ma hunna. Okay. Who are who ma hum? He are who ma hunna. Now, anta antum antum anti antum antum na. Anta antum. Anta antum antum. Anta antum antum anti antum antum na. इंप्रिंटेड इन यूर हेड सो यू शुड नो हुआ Make an arrow. This is dual. Second, it is dual. Tasniya, go right. See where it reaches. It is monas. Go further right. Where it goes? Third person. So it is in Arabic. We will call it Tasniya tun, monasun, waibun. Basically, see what is this huma. It is a dual. It is a monas and two, and they are absent. So follow this graph, graphic graph, graph paper to describe. So now, if I say, this, what is antum? We will call it plural, which is some on mozakkaron. How do you know? Antum is a plural word, jamun. Antum is a masculine word, and antum is in front of us. Has it? Correct. Yes. Follow this technique to identify them. Now come to Anna. What is the? What is the? What is Anna? Anna is Wahid. Anais Muzakkar, Anais Monas, and Anais Mutakalim. So grammarian they say Anais Wahid Mutakalim. They do not say it because it is obvious. So in generally you will find Ana they call it Wahid Mutakalim. Okay. In case of nahan, what is it? Nahan, nahan is tasniya, mean dual. Nahan is jama, plural. Nahan is zakar, feminine. Nahan manas, masculine, and nahan. What I can name? What grammarian they say? Yes. 
make it simple for you. Uh, we have some sound from one or two devices. Okay. So they call it Nahanu is Jamun Mutakalimun. So this is how we will identify. What is your job now? Your job is to memorize this 14 word by heart. Very simple. You know, people have memorized whole Quran. We will memorize some part of this thing. Okay. Now, have we identified our relatives clearly? Huh? Did we? Could we? Yes, yes inshallah. Okay. Yes. Now, now we will give them job. job. Our relative, we want that they should work. Okay. For this reason, please go to page number three. Here, we will give them job. Now, say, if we work, talk about work, this will relate to tense. If we talk about work, say work. This will relate to tense. Correct? So we need to understand tense also. In English, it is three types. What is that? Present, past, future. We will take in Arabic how it unfolds. Now, before we give them job, let us see another thing. Very interesting thing. We will go to this book. Okay. Say, now see, we go to Surah Fatiha. What is written? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Huh? If we click on Ar Rahman, we get something. Sorry. We get a table like this. Here, I will draw your attention to this word. This. Root. Root. See the word Rahman. How many alphabet is there in root? Three. Three. Uh, um, three. three. Now we go to some more and see what is happening really. Say we take this word Al Alamina. How many root we are getting? Three. Again three. So we go to some other big word Nastain. We get root three. Mm -hmm. Another word Mustaqim. We get root three. Three. Now let me inform you. In Arabic, almost more than ninety-eight percent word will have three root like this. Some of the word will form only one one root one word. Say wa and ba we. So most of the word will have root now three, total three roots. This is, in English, we call first radical. This is, we call second radical. And this is, we call third radical. Third. So, we understand three. Now, what Gamarian did, they have given a formula. Okay. They said that we will call root like this. Fa, Ain, and Lam. They say first radical will be Fa. What is the name of first radical? Fa. Ah. Second radical will be named as Ain. Ain. And third radical will be named as Lam. So let me tell you in this word, 
What is pa? Up. 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 What is ain? Wow. Wow. And what is lam? Mem. Mem. So in any word, in any root, you have three kalima. They call it kalima. Pa kalima, ain kalima, and lam kalima. Only remember this. Do not worry. Inshallah, we will make it a very, very simple language. You will, you will be very happy. You will be very happy at the end of the day. So what we have understood that the, the root of any word is pa, ain, and lam. Correct? Mm. So the, in this word. Here, what is pa, kalima? Good. Good. Mm. Wine. 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 and lam kalima? Da. Da. Now we will play with this. This is our play. We will play with what? We will play with the root. What are those root? Root is pa, ain, and lam. Now this is root. Now what we will do, you know? We will give them haraka. Pa, a, la. Soon we give them haraka, it is become a word, fa'ala. And to little more extent, it is become a sentence. Now go to the verb. Now go to, with this understanding, with this understanding, now we will go to where to task, give tax to our relative. Correct? We said that we will task our relative. Now we will task our relative. Again, to task our relative, as we said that we need to understand tense. I use this page as blackboard. Don't, do not think. Okay, let me draw a line like this. This is a whiteboard or blackboard, whatever line. At the right hand side, right side of this line, we called this is a work done, already done, complete. And this is a work not complete. Now tell me, what is this tense? Work done, finish. What is this tense now? Past tense. It is past tense. Are at the left, work not yet completed. Future. Then it is future. It is present as well. Say, we are talking now. Have we completed talking? No. No. So this is future and present. Is this concept clear? I said work done, completed, work not yet completed. So work completed means present tense, yeah, past tense. Past tense. And work yeah. not yet completed means future and present. Future. Right? Yeah. Therefore, in Arabic, this is the concept they use. In Arabic, past tense is called al-madi. Do not worry for this word now, but understand. Past tense is called al-madi and present and future together called al-mudari. Have you understood this concept? Yes. Yes. So in Arabic tense is two types. What is two types? One is action completed. Another is action not yet completed. And in English, they call it, uh, they call it, let me write it, they call it, this is called perfect tense. Perfect tense. And another one is called imperfect. Okay, we have understood perfect and imperfect. Yes. And, yes, yes. and so tense two types one is perfect tense, another is imperfect tense. 
we have found that now Madi and Mudare. Now we have brought that Fala. Can you remember we said that Fala? Yes. Now see what is the meaning of Fala? Meaning of Fala is he, one male person did. First tense, he, one male person did. He has done, completed, job is done. Who has done it? It is Hua. One. So once it is Hua, he has done, we say Fala. Now we you say that we give job to our all the relatives. So we have denoted here Hua Huma Hum, Kia Huma Anta Antumantum, Anti Antumantuna, Ananahanu. Those for it. Now we give that first tasking giving Hua Fala, he did. Okay. To, for better understanding, I will take you to a to another piece. Uh, are you understanding me? Yep. Alhamdulillah. 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 Okay. Now we see this space. Look at this space. This is our relative. Now we will give them job. So we are giving them job. Okay. So first we give them give who a job we say fala means he did one. Now if it is two person, two male person not present, we will say fala. What do you say? Fala. Same fala. same thing. Two male person did. If him, what will you say? Again, fa'ala. So here, fa'ala, fa'ala, fa'ala. Who did? He did. They, two male person did. They all male did. Now to give, it, give the job to a woman, we will say fa'ala. To give job to two women, we will say falata. And to give job to more than two women, we will say falna. What do we say? Falna. falna. Remember, in falna coming, first time this lam kalima is get, getting a sukun. Hmm. This is the first time Lam Kalima is getting a sukun and it will continue. Now, Anta, we will give job to Anta and we will write Alta. Antuma, Paltuma. Antum, Paltum. Anti, Palti. Antuma, Paltuma, Antunna, Pal, Tunna, Tunna, Anna, Anna, Paltu, Anna, Anna, Paltu, Nahanu, Palna. Now, I understand that it will take little time. Say, Fala, Hua, we have given job, meaning he did. Two person did, we increase one alif. Fala, Palu, they all have done, they all did. One male, Fala, two male, Falata, all male, Falna. And this is Gaib group. Job given to Gaib group, done. Correct? Here, job given to Hazir group. And this is this is easy comparatively. Say that see, 
anta there is a rhythm if you remember anta palta antuma paltuma antum paltum anti palti antuma paltuma antunna paltunna am i correct there is a rhythm yeah yeah easy to remember and ana faltu nahnu palna what you need to do this development you see here i cannot really make you give you lot of logic why it is like this reason like this but once you understand once you make it memorize it you know what is interesting let me tell you the interesting thing if you know how phala is developed progressed up to last understand it well understand his meaning then you will you can conjugate we call it conjugation you can conjugate uh, 98% all the words available in the quran or available in the world you can make total 14 like this only you need to understand how fala has been developed just as an example say we write here another another thing just here say we write here um, akrama akrama here you see what do we we will uh, um, uh, develop it later just to show you today here pala pala pal if you mark only you are going you are dealing with only lam kalima all activities are on lam kalima and beyond so here you will keep it fixed and all activities will done on mean correct yeah akrama in fala you you do everything on lam and beyond lam and this side so in akrama if we superimpose akrama if we superimpose akrama on fala we will do all the activities on mean let me show you mm. if it is fala and if it is akrama this one will be can you can you can you guess what is what will be this one akrama this will be akrama here you increase one alif so here you increase one alif. akrama this will be akrama and this will be what will be next one akrama 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 you have just you have understood what will be next one akramat akramat what will be next one akramat 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 what will be next one akramana akramna next one what will be next one akramta akramta next one akramtuma akramtuma next one akramtum akramtum next one akram tu akram ti next one akram tuma tuma tu tu and next one akram akram tunna akram tunna and next one akram tu akram tu akram tu and next one akramna this is the technique we will follow and as i say if you if you understand what is akra this pala pala palu palat palata palna palta paltu paltum palti paltu paltuna you can conjugate 98% word of the of the whole universe in arabic language by the method of superimposition i have shown you 
have you understood whatever we have discussed today any doubt alhamdulillah if not any doubt we end up today hoping to next uh, in our next class next uh, uh, oh, okay today is when is our okay. next class you said thursday yeah, thursday on thursday inshallah inshallah i know that many of the brothers could not join possibly okay having a apprehension uh, you can invite your friends and family still to join you get the um, online uh, you get the uh, recorded copy and i am sure alhamdulillah you have understood how methodically uh, technique based we will conduct our course am i correct yes inshallah inshallah how are you brother sarin from possibly uk or usa yeah. nice to nice to uk see. scotland mashallah mashallah uh, any doubt you have no alhamdulillah alhamdulillah i'm fine actually no, i need to do a bit of study but uh, alhamdulillah is fine alhamdulillah yeah. very intense yep alhamdulillah uh, i will give you, you will just get the recording tomorrow inshallah so uh, this is yeah. Uh, night 11 o'clock we end up today we will talk inshallah later inshallah assalam. okay assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum allah is brother for today thank you thank you so much subhanaka allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaika assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi